This is a live channel's television event. With love and strength and faith, that they forever hear us pass shall never be in vain. To serve with heart and might, one nation bound in freedom. Peace and unity. Thank you very much. You may take your seats. The Coordinating Minister for the Economy and Honorable Minister of Finance, Dr. Ngozi Okun. The Supervising Minister of National Planning, Ambassador Bashir Yuguda. The Honorable Minister of Information, Mr. Labaran Maku. The Honorable Minister of Health, Professor Onyebuchi Chuku. The Permanent Secretary, Federal Minister of Finance, Dr. Anastasia Daniel Wabia. The Statistician General, Statistician General of the Federation, Dr. Yemi Kale. The Director General, Budget Office of the Federation. The Acting Central Bank Governor. There are several DGs here present. The DG Budget Office of the Federation. And all other Directors General. Directors of the Federal Minister of Finance, directors of other ministries, and those of the yes, all other directors here present. Ladies and gentlemen of the press, our partners from IMF, World Bank, and other agencies here present. It is my honor and privilege to welcome all of you to this all important event, rebasing Nigeria's GDP. You will recall, honorable ministers, that the last exercise on the GDP was done in 1990. And since then, so many things have happened. A lot has happened to the economy. By 1990, we had less than 200 fixed telephone lines. And by 2001, when GSM came, we had about 400,000. Today, we have 120 million active lines. By 1990, there was no Nollywood. Or if it was there, it was not known at all. And uh, the, the activity there was not so much. And uh, by that time,
by that time, we had uh, the, there were so many other activities that were not in place. But today, it is a completely different scenario. And so, we must talk about rebasing the GDP. Without wasting time, I want to invite the CME, Honorable Minister of Finance, Dr. Ngozi Okonjiwala, to please come over and kick off the program. The Honorable Minister. Thank you. Are we ready? Yes, so please excuse my troubles, but we've got to get face our audience. And I hope at some point the cameraman will also decide those who are talking. If there is a way to congregate outside so you don't completely block the people behind you. Exactly. Yeah. And to this side. All right. Um, sorry for that little logistical rearrangement, but I want to thank 
everybody here for joining us today for the presentation of the results of Nigeria's rebate. Of course, I'll be handing over to the Statistician General, who is the star of the day. And um, I'll also uh, be handing over to my colleague, the Minister Supervising National Planning. But I want to take this opportunity to thank the Statistician General and his staff and say how proud we are of them. It has not been a, an easy thing. That's the first thing I want people to know that they worked so hard uh, to make this happen for the country. And um, even before we, we begin, I want the Statistician General and his staff to be recognized with a round of applause. <laughs> yes, please stand up. The people who, who actually did the work. Thank you very, very much. Okay, more and more of them are standing. Thank you. We owe you a debt of gratitude uh, for this. And the Minister Supervising National Planning, you should also stand up. <laughs> because you deserve the credit. Later on in the day, EMIT members who also worked very hard, the Economic Management Implementation Team. I see many of their members are here labored over the numbers and discussions time and time again. And I want to thank you. Maybe why don't you also just stand up? Why not? The EMIT members. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, it's just so that people know that uh, behind the two years, there were quite a number of people uh, working. Now, I'm very pleased that we have reached this milestone today with the release of our new GDP numbers. And I want to especially thank His Excellency President Goodluck Ebele Jonathan for the support he has given to this effort, uh, unrelentingly, you know, uh, urging us on and urging us on. And um, I think that the fact that we got here today is due to that support. I want to mention that today's event is part of our broader efforts to improve our national data and statistics. We are measuring our data better. What is produced in the economy, I want to emphasize that, has not changed. But we now have better coverage and assessment of economic activity in our country. The main objective of rebasing this GDP and rebenchmarking, as we say, is that we are measuring this economy better. And that is so helpful in terms of better policy making, as we'll see. You will hear from the Statistician General that our sampling frame of 80,000 previously has now increased tenfold to a coverage of more than 850,000. And that is why we've been able to bring in so many more economic activities uh, and have a proper understanding of the way our economy is structured. But why has it taken us so long to rebase our GDP? And why have we waited since 1990? Of course, there are many theories uh, in the papers, just as there are many numbers that have been floated. So I, I urge you to put all theories and numbers to one side, because here in this room today, you'll get the truth. The, I think the, the, the <laughs> I think the challenge was that uh, during our long decades of military rule, we probably did not prioritize uh, you know, the statistical office as much as we should have. It's not that it was neglected, but it was not the top priority. It was not, uh, planning was uh, not as um, uh, pursued as we would have liked. And you know that to plan, you need statistics. So after that long period, when we came in in 19, uh, the democratic, new democratic dispensation came in 1999, 2000, there was a period of trying to rebuild the statistical office and strengthen its capacity. Rebasing a country's GDP is a very rigorous exercise and a very strong one that requires that you have the right capacity to, to do it. 
And over the years, we've been able to build this capacity. But in the past two to three years, with the appointment of the current Statistician General, with the support of the government, and with the support of our external development partners, we had a strong enough base